I'm going to show you something that wrecks 90% of your trades. In fact, this one thing is so crucial that if you don't change it, you may as well not bother trading. Save your time and go do something else. But we don't want to do something else. Trading is everything to us, so stick around and let's make sure you're not wrecking most if not all of your trades. Now, all will be revealed in just a moment, but before we do that, I want you to think about why you are trading. What is it that makes you want to succeed as a trader? Do you want the same lifestyle as other young YouTube Forex educators that drive flashy cars? Is it that lifestyle that motivates you? Perhaps it's the possibility to make easy money that is the driving force behind you wanting to be a trader. Trading on the face of it, it appears to be an amazing opportunity to click a few buttons and produce cash at will, a bit like a slot machine. Maybe that's what's drawn you to trading. Now you may be thinking it's none of those things and it's something much more sensible. For example, it's the opportunity to get out of the daily grind, your day job. You want more work-life balance. You don't want a boss telling you what to do. You don't want to have to work all hours of the day for very little pay. Seems like a sensible goal. To be honest, it doesn't matter. Believe it or not, for the purpose of this video, it doesn't really matter what your motivation is for trading. The problem I see with virtually every losing trader I've come across, and in my years in this business, I've come across a lot of them, the biggest problem with having any of these goals is not to do with the goals themselves, it's bringing those goals into your daily trading. You know, admit it to yourself. If you want to leave your day job and that is why you're trading, fine, great goal to have. But the problem is I see many traders bringing that goal directly into their trading. Every time they buy or sell, they're linking the outcome of that individual trade to their long-term goal. It's like the outcome of the next trade is going to determine their entire future. Can you see? It's a recipe for disaster and that type of thinking is wrecking 90% or more of your trades. You're placing your entire life's worth or future on the outcome of the trade. I'm sure you agree that by putting that amount of pressure on yourself on every trade, your chances of making it in this game are zero. Now you may not even be aware you're doing it, but it's highly likely you're doing this at a semi-subconscious level. It is insane how much pressure you're putting yourself under by doing that. It will cause you to almost subconsciously exit trades early, move stops tighter for no reason, exit trades when you see small profits, but hold them until they're giving you large losses as you can't accept the loss. Why? As the loss, that loss will mean the end of your goal of leaving your job or whatever your motivator is for being in this business. Every time you lose a trade, it feels like you're one step further away from achieving your life's ambition of leaving your day job. Sounds familiar, right? Can you see the two don't match? On the one side, you have something as heavy as your entire future or career. And on the other side of the seesaw, you have the outcome of one measly irrelevant trade. Can you see there needs to be more balance on this seesaw? The outcome of your future or career or aspirations or goals are such an important and therefore weighty or heavy thing. They need to be balanced by not the outcome of one trade, but by the outcome of thousands of trades. That's when the two things balance. The weight on one side matches the other. Now, when I explain this to you, it seems obvious, but I know very few traders in the world who recognize this in the moment when they are placing trades in real time. But those that do are not only incredibly successful, but more importantly, they are incredibly relaxed and they enjoy their trading. Can you see why? It's because they recognize the outcome of one trade is not what is balancing their goals, on the other side of the seesaw, it's the outcome of thousands of trades. Imagine trading like that. The success or failure of every trade means the success or failure of your entire life's ambitions or goals. So to trade like a professional, start becoming conscious of this. Catch yourself doing this and take a step back and remember 
to balance that seesaw with thousands of trades, not just one. Recognize that the outcome of the next trade is irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. If you do this, it's obvious your chances of success will jump infinitely and you'll start to enjoy your trading so much more as you won't be putting yourself under so much pressure. Now, if you want to learn how to avoid making an even bigger mistake that stops nearly all beginner traders making money, then watch this video here before it's too late and your career goes the same way as 99% of those that try this game.